One time in fifth grade, it was just four days in a row. It was just snow day after snow day after snow day, and it was so fun. Yeah, I used to have to work five miles in a blizzard, so shut the up. Barefoot here. And That's uphill. right. Yeah, snow yeah. days aren't what they used to be for some school districts. Look at how technology is slowly killing off this weather dedicated right of passage of our childhood. Right now, as Wake Up Without continues. Live from New York and the heart of Rockefeller Center, it's Wake Up With Al with Al Roker and Stephanie Abrams. Good morning, everybody. Tuesday, January 6, 2015. Welcome to Wake Up With Al. I, I remember as a kid, see, I'm oh, so old. We, we used to listen there to the radio for school closings. Mm -hmm. And it was like, yes! You mean someone didn't just come by on a horse and yell, no school today! Exactly, uh -huh. while holding a lantern. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Well, we are live in New York on a very bitterly cold day. Well, last winter, Chicago saw one of its snowiest seasons on record, with over 80 inches of snow leading to several days of classes actually getting canceled in the city. But at some school snow days and snow cancellations, are no longer synonymous. Our Dave Malkoff went to one school where iPads are slowly fading out those free days. Oh, oh we have the same thought. <laughs> a school snow day. That's all you want during winter? I remember there was this one time in fifth grade, it was just four days in a row. It was just snow day after snow day after snow day, and it was so fun. They're going to make a snowman, and everybody must help. That was then. And this is now. The whole idea of a snow day is fading away, and it has nothing to do with the piles out here. If you don't have your iPad for some reason, you can direct your attention to the front of the classroom. It's the pads in here. In most classes, we have our assignments right on the iPads. Technology is slowly killing the nostalgic snow day. Charlie wants to slide first. We would go outside and build snowmen and build forts. Here at Wheeling High School, just outside of Chicago, <laughs> Aileen Leone and 75% of her classmates now have school district issued iPads. Work, work, work. <laughs> yeah, snow days in the near future will be nothing more than a telecommuting day. Uh, for better or worse. Because teachers can send assignments home through the web and kids can turn in their papers just as easily now. So does that clarify a little bit? It's already starting to happen in Mr. Urich's English class. Because class is going to continue with or without you being here, essentially, okay? When I was in school, even just 10, 15 years ago, we didn't have the accessibility. I feel like the next generation is missing out. Oh my God, it's a snow day. The joy of that snow day has faded as an old educational film. I've got his button. Any questions? Sure, here's one of many. There's some kids who don't really have that internet access at home, so they would be missing out. Yeah, and as a teacher, you just have to maintain sort of a consciousness to that, and you know, you have to be understanding and, and reasonable. <laughs> There's still a digital divide, so for the next few fleeting school years, the snow day lives, but... Would you rather do some work on a snow day or extend the school year into June when it's beautiful and nice? And most of the kids would take the, the work on the iPad now instead of uh, giving up a day in June out of their summer. And that was Dave Malkoff. Not just city, uh, Chicago, cities in Minnesota, and even uh, Atlanta has been t uh, flirting with this technology. Yeah. And speaking of snow, they had 1.8 inches in Chicago yesterday. They had over 280 plows out, 20 vehicles for snow removal, and it looks like they're going to need more of that in the next seven days. All right, let's find out.